guys we're back in my GTI now if you saw the video before you would have noticed that uh, I ran into some issues regarding my clutch this basically happened with uh, my cob my cob review that I did during the end of that review I noticed that I had really really bad clutch slip at the end of that review it slipped a little bit during the review if you really catch it but it really got bad towards the end of the review the good thing about this is that um you know Cobb really does make pretty solid cons conservative tunes out of the box they do really well with that market uh that that spectrum but um you know there were there, i mean there weren't any concerns i just want to let everybody know there was no concerns in regards of my my cob off the shelf map at all um i had no issues i had no concerns with with the with the off the shelf maps at all i think they were great if you're just trying to tune your car you just want it tuned uh then doing something like that would be having having something like that would not be a concern at all. Cobb did say that they were on the conservative side with their tunes. Mm, I kind of really don't agree with that a little bit uh, because of the fact that you know it's not the tune that that did this, but my clutch started to slip. As you guys know from before, I had issues regarding my clutch slipping, and it was because I tuned the car, and I know I had to tune the car, and I know that. I know it was potential, it was going to potentially happen. I didn't expect it to happen so fast. It happened within three weeks after I tuned it. So, unfortunately, I had to spend a good amount of money on a new clutch. Now, when I did this, I didn't just wanna, I said since I'm gonna, I'm, since I'm gonna have to take the transmission out of the car anyway, I might as well just do a clutch kit, which includes the new, the new um, clutch and the new pressure plate and a new flywheel so the clutch set that i went with was is is a south bend stage two endurance clutch and what this is is basically a single mass lightweight flywheel pressure plate and a clutch that can hold up to about 450 pound feet of torque from what i want to build the gti to be it's more than enough for it's more than enough for what power levels I'm trying to get to without overshooting it or out, without overkilling it. And the clutch feels great. Uh, the clutch feels fantastic. It's a little, it's heavier than stock, which was always, this is a plus for me because now there's some type of feel when I'm getting on and off the clutch when I'm switching gears. So I have no issues now in regards of that. So that's a plus. The good thing about the good thing about the clutch is now I can use the more aggressive tune that my Cobb Access port came with. As you guys know, I told you this in the review, that I bought my Cobb Access port from a company called MA Performance. So from uh, Ian, his name's Ian from uh, MA Performance. Really cool dude, told me about you know the tune and how, how the car will respond to it and the numbers that they made. So without further ado, I'm definitely gonna be telling you the numbers. They're off the shelf, they're off the shelf map stage one they were able to set parameters because they have a Vol volkswagen gti as well that they did you know parameters on to make this tune available to customers is 303 wheel horsepower and 370 pound feet of torque without further ado let's just get into the power a little bit and see what she feels like so here we go Right off the bat, it's definitely a little bit more responsive than definitely responsive than stock. And the good thing about it is, is that it just responds well. It just enjoys the fact, like the car is happy. Like you can see, you can feel that the car is extremely happy. It's stupid fast now. It's it's literally like <laughs> this thing's a freight train now. Like I I thought the cob off the shelf map was fast, but this is stupid. This is like woo! Oh man. All day. 
all day. Oh, I, I, I just, I'm very, very happy because the car is finally where it needs to be as far as it's stage one. But literally, I no problems at all. No hiccups. There was no problems with the tune at all. Uh, it behaves extremely, extremely well with the car. Um, and, and I just enjoy it. It, it. You can, and the good thing about this is that you can still drive it well every single day. It's not where the car feels like it's undrivable. And I hate cars that feel like they're undrivable on the street. This is my daily driver. I drive it every single day. And I kind of want something that's just like, ooh, when I want to get on it, yeah, I got the power right then and there, exactly where I need it. But when I'm actually wanting just to relax and just drive normal, I can do that. There's no hiccups in the tune. I can drive the car every day. I actually did a road trip to Boston for the Apex event uh, for Ignition Tube and Dr. M3. I averaged 42.6 miles to the gallon to Boston. I'm just like, what? Like, that's insane. I thought the tune would actually decrease my MPG. Well, I actually made it slightly better at around 25.7 pounds. So roughly almost 26. And you're like, well, what's the real difference? Here's the difference. Throughout the rev band, the MA Performance tune, if I go all the way to Redline, still holds 20 pounds of boost to Redline versus Cobb when you actually, when you actually get on the power with the cob off the shelf map you're actually the 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 uh the psi actually the boost actually falls off after like around 5,000 rpm so you are still losing a little bit of power so what they did was they did some tunability towards the top end as well which was fantastic due to the fact that you know it's still it's still usable power like i can't believe it still feels this good it feels this good when you're sitting here trying to it's it when you're just trying to you know accelerate all the way through the power it's great because you can use all of that rev band now it's not just like okay five i have to shift because it's gonna die and you can use all the rev all the rev range which is awesome but now like i can even launch the car a little bit better now so let's give that a try turn trash control completely off much better Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm happy. <laughs> it feels much better. So you can't, in this car, it doesn't seem like you can really like just dump the clutch, which is not really the best thing to do. Some cars it is really good, some cars it's not. But in this car, all you can do is just like roll into it. And it just like, just fun. And it's just much, much better. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on what that was about. So self end stage two clutch. I am running a more aggressive MA performance stage one tune that's putting 303 wheel horsepower and 370 wheel torque to the tire. So that's what I'm running right now. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please stay tuned for more content to come and subscribe today and share and give this video a thumbs up. All right, hope you guys enjoy the day and take care.